Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shachita. I make videos on beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and home decor. In today's video, I will be doing a bathroom makeover. Now, I've taken a two months break on my channel, so I decided to come back with a very interesting video for you all. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video. This bathroom makeover is mainly focused on bringing some changes that are not structural. So uh, these changes can be renter friendly as well. So if you're somebody who's renting out the space, you can also make these changes and entirely change the look of your bathroom. And uh, uh, one more thing that I do want to mention that uh, uh, I have only, this is a very small space that I'm working with. I might be making more permanent changes in the future. So when I do that, I'll share that journey as well. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I have given my best to it and I really hope you thoroughly enjoy it. And if you're somebody who's not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have so many fun videos planned for 2024 and uh, I can't wait for you to watch it. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so this is what we're starting with. I have made some changes from uh, when it actually started. Uh, we have added these cabinets uh, and uh, I have left this part open because I wanted to put some baskets over here and in that uh, I can add extra skincare, makeup, etc. And uh, uh, this is a closed cabinet where I can keep all the cleaning supplies and everything, extra bathroom essentials. Now I have also added this kind of uh, shelf over here. Uh, the reason I did not want to uh, put like an open shelf here is because it can look very messy sometimes and I don't that I don't like that kind of look so I've added like a closed shelf over here this one is very beautiful it's from Ikea and I love that fluted uh, detailing on the glass now I've added this mirror as well uh, now mirror can actually change the look of the bathroom a lot like especially if you have a space like this you can add like a uh, like a big mirror over here and then it makes the whole bathroom look much more bigger in a way so uh, this goes for all the tenants uh, because uh, usually landlords will provide you like a builder basic mirror so you can easily switch that out this one i've got from ikea ikea sells some really affordable uh, mirrors that you can uh, use uh, in your rented home as well that will change the whole look now one more change that i've not made yet which is also like a good change that you can do is change the lighting the the lighting that i have uh, you know planned for this space has not arrived yet so i've not made that change yet but uh, so right now it's just a basic uh, bulb and yeah this is what we are working with right now all right let's start with giving everything a good clean Okay, so here I've added like a knob uh, which is renter friendly which means uh, it can easily come off. It is just uh, 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 sticking to the wall using like a 3M tape. Uh, so that's a very good uh, way to add extra uh, kind of storage onto your wall. You can add these kind of hooks which you can later, later use to add uh, to hang your towel or extra bathroom essentials. Okay, so let's start with this corner first. I'll go ahead and add some candles over here. Okay, now I'll just add like uh, something over here to balance that out. And then I'll add like a small, kind of like a small tray where you can add your rings or anything when you're taking a shower. Okay, now I'll add like a toilet roll over here. Uh, now one thing that I like to do sometimes especially when I'm expecting ga uh, guests so what I do is I just like to make like a fold like this Hold on. and then I turn on my tap and then turn it off and what I'll do is I'll just put this part um, over the over the tap opening and it leaves a mark like this so this is just uh, an extra uh, step that you can do. Okay, so I've switched on the light for now because uh, the natural light was really not uh, good enough. So yeah, 
let's uh, let's start uh, making over this space or at least adding whatever bits um, that go in here the first thing that i'll add is like this basket uh, that i got from amazon it's a really good basket and uh, i'll be adding like some extra towels actually i want to talk about this towel uh, this i got from ikea it's a really good towel uh, the absorption part is really nice and it has like this waffle kind of detailing and it was really uh, inexpensive so I've added like some uh, extra towels over here and some like wet wipes over here and that will go here <coughs> perfectly fits in there all right so now I'll go ahead and add uh, things in here uh, I'll start with uh, adding these kind of uh, containers or boxes in this I've kept like uh, uh, Q-tips, I think that's what it's called, like a floss. And uh, I got these kind of containers from uh, Home Center. Again, really inexpensive and look uh, really nice. So I'll go ahead and add those. One for cotton pads. This one has uh, all my hair ties and everything. All right, now in the second shelf, I'll be adding uh, the products that I use on a daily basis. And uh, again, I've added that into a container so that it's easy to clean also. Okay, next I got these kind of uh, organizers I think I made from Amazon and I've added some concealers and my brushes into this uh, maybe I'll add it here and then uh, on the top shelf I'll be adding like a basket for anything additional that I want to keep this is what it looks like I've left some space over here and here for anything additional that I might want to add. Okay, let me give you a better look uh, in this lighting. This is what the space looks like. As you can see, because I've added the uh, black dustbin and the bathroom cleaner brush, cleaning brush, the whole thing looks much more uh, cohesive. All right, now let's move to the space, guys. I'll be adding these kind of baskets. Uh, and uh, whatever extra skincare that I have goes into this and I'll be adding those over here because uh, those are not the bits that I use on a daily basis so I think it makes sense to add uh, over here alright next I'll be adding again another basket and in this I uh, keep all my hair tools alright next I'm adding another uh, kind of box in this I keep my uh, sanitary napkins or uh, panty liners and probably TMI for a lot of people uh, but yeah I like to keep that in a box and add it over here so that it's easier when I'm just I can just easily pull it out and use just to add a little bit of color to the space because I've only used black and uh, neutral colors or amber color up until now I'll just add like this over here it's like a basket and uh, with some flowers in it i really like to uh, listen to some music while i'm taking a shower so that's the reason why i want to put google home over here so i'll add that over here because earlier i used to carry my phone into the space and it's really not that hygienic to do that and i'd have to clean it uh, afterwards and all of that so now i could just use my google home uh, and listen to songs okay next i'm going to add the the soap dispenser and everything for that i'll be using like a marble tray like this now uh, these are the soap dispenser bottles i have actually diy these uh, at home and uh, as you can see it has like Imara Homes written on it which is basically uh, like my small micro brand and uh, that's just to add a little uh, touch uh, so I'll just be adding the hand wash and the hand lotion over here now I would highly encourage you to add the uh, hand lotions right next to your hand wash so that whenever you're washing your hand you can just uh, reapply your hand lotion I think that's a good habit stacking that you can do alright next to that I'll be adding uh, my toothbrush and everything as you can see this is also amber it is a very beautiful glass that I got uh, almost two years back from uh, pure home and living which is a very beautiful um, homegrown brand and uh, this goes with uh, this uh, flower vase over here it also ties in with the amber bottles that I've used. 
all right so for some additional storage what i'll do is i got this kind of okay i don't know what it's called but uh, this can go on your wall and it's easily removable so it's uh, already friendly as well so i'll add that over here and it actually holds a lot of stuff guys i have been using it for past one year i'm sorry if my uh, if my audio is uh, echoing it's because i'm in a closed space so that might happen so in the same bottle this can go over here this can add uh, you can add your conditioner and your shampoo in this and it just uh, makes it look much more aesthetic let's move on to the finishing touches now which actually makes the space that much more uh, beautiful I'll go ahead and add my dry brush here and uh, my towel here. I'll go ahead and add a beautiful rag. Then added my towel beautifully folded. And for the last bit, I'll go ahead and add this uh, diffuser over here. This is an automatic diffuser, which means it diffuses every uh, 20 minutes or whatever you put. You can put the timer over here. It comes in really handy for your uh, restroom. So I'll go ahead and add that here. I've also changed the knobs of the cabinet. It's a really good hack for all the renters out there. I've gone ahead and added this cute water closet sign. Okay, now I'll just add some sort of greenery over here. This is, a, this is an artificial plant, so it doesn't need light. Uh, so that's why I've put that over there. I'll go ahead and light the candle for some ambiance before I reveal the space to you guys. Okay, let's circle back and try to recall what the restroom looked like before when I first moved in and then what it looked like in between when I had stuff all over the place. Okay, now let's see how it looks like now. Video. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I definitely enjoyed making this video and uh, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. There's a subscribe button somewhere on the screen and uh, there's so many people who watch my channel week after week who are not subscribed yet. So if you're one of them, make sure you're subscribed. Hit the uh, bell icon so that uh, you get notified every single time I post a new video and uh, make sure you're like the you're liking the video and you're sharing it uh, with your friends as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Take care. Love you.